How's it going, everybody? It's me, Josh, aka Vamp Scamp. If you uh, remember, <laughs> I um, I had to go on a hiatus because there's a was a lot of bad stuff that happened in my life. Um, I had to stop recording videos and uh, take care of my my father, help help him along. He um, he wasn't doing very well for a, a really long time, and uh, I had to um, be there for him because uh, he was just really sick. Um, unfortunately, he passed in October last year, and uh, that... Um, really stopped me from doing a lot of stuff that I enjoyed doing because I was I was dealing with his his death um, because of his death I actually had to move and leave my job for a little while so I could find a new place to live in a new town um, it, it put my my life on pause for for a few months <clears throat> excuse me yeah, so uh, I think my last video I I did on my channel was uh, a quick recording of a couple um, Magic Arena uh, gameplay. Uh, before that, I think it was pack openings or or miniature um, reviews with with a buddy of mine that I I worked with, my buddy Ben. Uh, before that. I remember wanting to set up collaborations with my buddy John, but John doesn't really like uh, being on camera, so I, I, I don't know what's going on. I haven't talked to him in a long time. We kind of had a little argument. Um, but well, Life happens, I guess. Uh... I don't know, but I had some spare time today, and I I, I wanted to reset up my uh, my my setup. So I, I'm just kind of seeing how it goes, hoping the quality comes out all right. I hope the lighting's good, volume's good. There's games that I do want to play very badly. I want to play the Diablo series so badly for my channel and there's other games in my channel that I want to get into and I'm going to show you some games now uh, I am going to fully admit that mental illness took over for a long time I was very very deeply depressed for a long time I still am um, I don't really know how to uh, get around it. I tried different things, but nothing works. I live um, close to my mom now, so she's she's been a big help with um, keep keeping my mind in in functioning, working, you know. Life is hard. Life sucks. Life's not fair. I guess we just have to grit our teeth, bear with it, and do our best. Now, um, when I was living with my father and help taking care of him, doing doing my very best to be a good son, I was depression spending a lot. I was buying as many video games on Steam sales as I possibly could. And I'll show you that now. I have my Steam right here. I'm gonna open big picture mode to separate my purchased games from my ROMs. Because uh, for the longest time, the only way I could really play most games was from ROMs because 
you know i didn't i just didn't have money just money money is not an object it's elusive especially when you have some it becomes even more elusive because you uh think about all the things that you can buy to make try to make your life better how does it really make your life better you actually have to use them so this is what i'm going to attempt to do i have over 700 games i'm close to well, I have 729 purchased Steam games. Now, I don't. Mo most of the games were from Steam sales. I had a rule that I would buy as many games as possible through the sales as I could with the little bit of money as I had. And I very, very rarely purchased games at full price unless I really, really, really wanted them and I had the extra money. Some games just don't go on sale. That's just how it is. So, you know, a lot of games I have in here were recommended from friends, from streamers, uh, influencers, YouTube people. I, I watch a lot of OTK. So, like, games that Tectone, Asmongold, or Zacharar, however you know them by, uh, Imaru, um, you know, games that they play, I, I try to get to because like they're, they're really smart people. They know what they're doing. They're, they're not as successful as they are for no reason. I'm just going to say that they got in the game and they stayed there. They live in the internet and that's why they're rich. So I really want to play Alan Wake. I want to play a lot of these games. I want to play all these games. I just don't know when I'm going to get to them. I love RPGs. I love uh, shooters. I love um, puzzle games. You can see see here, like Assassin's Creed, I think the series sucks. I, I'm, I'm not part of that group. I just really like the idea of Odyssey and Valhalla. And I got Assassin's Creed 3 for free when I got Odyssey. Because, like, I bought the deluxe editions because I hate buying games that aren't completed. I actually, um, this is the second take on this video because the first take of this video, I went on, like, a, an off-shoot rant about game companies and how they screw people because they release games that are basically in beta. They're not completed. They have, they're loaded with problems and they're just trying to make a deadline. But I'm not going to get back into that rant because it was ridiculous. Uh, I always wanted to play the, the Batman games. I had a lot of these games on other systems. It's just that some of the systems are stolen by an ex of mine and a lot of the games for them. But um, <clears throat> she's no longer with us. She ended up... Um, yeah, she she's dead. She, she overdosed because that's what kind of person she was. And uh, I hope she rests in peace. I hope she finds the peace that she can never have in life. Um, yeah, so I, like I said, I, I've, I've been hit with a lot of tragedy, a lot of uh, death in, in the past few recent years. So it's really screwed my, my um, it's really screwed up my, my happiness. Uh, Blasphemous was a game that Asmund played, so I got that so I could play it too. Um, a lot of games I really want to just try out, like the the Borderland, Borderlands. I never played them. I got Black Ops Three to play with my younger brother, but he he's hardly ever around. He has his own life. Um, I love the old games, old games. Um, some games were recommended from like friends, like I said, um, coworkers that I used to work with. My old buddy Ben, he said Code Vein was good, so I grabbed that. Uh, I love Final Fantasy. It's top shelf, top tier quality games. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I grew up on Final Fantasy. It's always going to be a beloved series franchise in my mind. So that's that. I absolutely suck at Soulsborne games. Uh, Dark Souls. Uh, I tried Dark Souls 1. I suck. I suck at it. It's, it's hard. These games are hard. I just got to get, you know practice get get into the game play it learn my lessons and um that i guess that's how you get good right uh i, I guess i don't know 
Um, the I heard these games were great. The Darksiders games. Days Gone was a, a game recommended to me by my old friend Paul. Uh, Dead Island 2 was recommended by my old friend Danny. Uh, I beat Dead Island 1. Wait. Did I say Dead Rising or Dead Island? I, I can't remember. But Dead Island 2 was Danny. I beat Dead Island 1. Never played Riptide. Dead Rising is being uh, remastered. So, of course, I had to go and buy these games before that one came out. I did have this on Xbox 360 when it first came out, but I wasn't that great at it. Um, you're talking about... Well, I'm talking about, like, someone who grew up on, like, Sonic the Hedgehog, Mario, Donkey Kong, and freaking Final Fantasy and Pokemon. So th those were my main games when I was, you know, like, young. Uh, so Disco Elysium is very highly rated. I always, I always wanted to play that since I heard about it. I love Devil May Cry. Uh, the Doom series I grew up playing. I remember going to the mall with my dad when I was, like, I don't know, I must have been like six, uh, seven, eight years old. Uh, I, c I can't remember exactly. I was a child. But there was this like booth in the center of the mall that had like early, early versions of like what was called virtual reality. But it was just like a giant rounded screen that you would stand in the center of. And uh, it was like an enormous curved screen before curved screens were like made. And the game you played was Doom. And it had like one of those handheld guns. So there was like a sensor somewhere on the screen. I, I don't know. But it, I have this vague memory of getting into the game, holding the gun up, and just dying because I couldn't differ, differentiate. Dif, dif, I don't even, I can't even say the word. Differentiate what the monsters were to the level design because of how pixelated the game was. It was, it was weird. It was like five bucks a game too. Uh, Dragon Age, I watched my buddy John play this a while, over a decade ago and thought it was cool. So I got all of them. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, I'm a lifelong fan of Dragon Ball Z. Thanks, John. Um, Elden Ring, I got Elden Ring because Elden Ring is the top top tier um souls like games so I, I i'm dying to play that i actually watched with my buddy ben the um elden ring abridged series on youtube and thought it was absolutely hilarious so if you're a fan of elden ring and you've never seen it go watch it i recommend it highly not that you should take my recommend it, my recommendations at um uh, any uh level of you know importance never played any of the elder scrolls game i had morrowind on xbox 360 and i only played it a little bit but i forgot everything about it never played skyrim i, I opened skyrim to see the beginning cutscene, and then shut it off because i had to go do something so I, I never played it after that i never played skyrim ever i don't even know what it's about in 2024 don't even know what the game is about. Amazing, right? I'm probably the only person in the whole world. Besides like some aborigines in the rainforest or something. Uh, the Evil Within. Always knew it was a good game. Never played it. Fairy is a great game. Fable's a great game. Uh, I love Fallout. I, I was actually the first person in my uh, old friend uh, group of friends that played any of the fallout games so when i showed it to them they were like oh my god this game is amazing and i, I made all of my friends fallout fiends so yeah you're welcome uh, <clears throat> the only far cry game i ever played was far cry 2 and it, it's i thought it was amazing i played it alongside fallout 3 back when they first released because they released like not that far apart from each other. I think I bought both of them at the same time. Um, yeah, but I really, really want to play Far Cry 4. I, I mean, 5. 5 Five was like a big deal for whatever reason when it when it came out. Uh, now it's not that big of a deal. Final Fantasy, I have, a, I have as many of the Final Fantasies as I could buy that I don't have to pay a subscription for because when I first bought Final Fantasy 14... I played it and played it and played it and played it and played it 
and then this was all before the first expansion came out so i was playing a realm reborn and then i lost that account after it must have been months of actual in-game time that i put into that game i lose the account i still can't believe it i just don't want to pay for the subscription anymore it, it, it what's the point I know it's an amazing game. I know all of these expansions came out, and I never even got close to the expansions because I played it before the first one came out, but no. Unless I'm making, like, $1,000 a week, I'm not going to pay for a subscription for a video game. So that that's out. I'll play all the original. I'll play all of these games instead. Final Fantasy twelve is is masterful. I don't care what anyone else says either. This is my personal opinion on the 13 trilogy. I think they are amazing games. I never had not liked 13. Never. Since the first time I played it, since um, Lightning Returns came out, I always thought 13 was good. I think 13 2 is the best of the three, and everybody who is a Final Fantasy fan should play 13 2 at least. 13 2 it's amazing what are you people doing blindly hating these games go experience it for yourself and make your own decision that's what i did block the haters be your own person think for your own anyway there's been a resurgence in final fantasy 10 and 10 2 in the past few years and i think it's hilarious because i bought it <clears throat> I bought it the Christmas after it came out. And that game was a masterpiece then. It was a masterpiece ever since. It's a masterpiece now, and it will always be one. The only way it can get better is if they put it in VR in your Titus. Like, straight up. Um, or if, like, you hover over the group somehow uh grand theft autos yeah you know about those greedfall is a game that i tried for like a half hour or something like that and then put it down and forgot to pick it back up again um never played half-life always wanted to halo is amazing i got onto halo and during halo 2 on the original xbox and played the campaign and never played online because my friends wouldn't let me john wouldn't let me play Halo 2 online because he was part of a group and he didn't want me to, um, he didn't want the noob to, you know, make a bad name for the group. So I had to wait. But I did play like matchmaking with some friends at John's house and my buddy Evan, our buddy Evan, when we all lived close together, came over, played with me, and I smoked his ass very first time playing matchmaking i just romped him and he got so upset that he ended up going home like right after he like put the controller down flipped out and left i'm sorry evan we all know that that game was pure luck you were better than me but i still beat you and i don't know how I think you just got a dose of rage for for a moment after that first kill. Anyway, my time in Halo was Halo 3. I, I killed it in Halo 3. So every once in a while, I'll go back and try it. And, and you know, years and decades later, I suck again. So I got to I got to I got to play. I got to play more. Uh, Hitman Hogwarts Legacy. I bought at full price because it's an amazing game. I love Harry Potter and everything to do with it, except its author, J.K. Rowling. Can I don't I I don't like her. So anyway, um, I am set soon is a great game. Square Enix, I love Square Enix. Uh, I bought Immortals: Phoenix Rising because it was the um, Breath of the Wild um, duplicate. It was as close as I could get to Breath of the Wild as I could. But then I went and bought Breath of the Wild. 
Whoops. Um, I love ARPGs. Van Helsing was one of the first ones I bought on Steam, but um, I, I played I played a lot of it. I I don't think I beat the first part of the game. I think this is the anthology, all three games, in one. But uh, I I definitely have to get back in there. But I'm gonna be burnt out on ARPGs because the first one I play is probably gonna be Diablo One. Excuse me, excuse me. Diablo is a game that broke me into PC games. Diablo Two specifically. I never played Diablo One. Um, I played the shit out of Diablo Two, and it's it's amazing. I was so stoked when Diablo Two Resurrected came out, and I'm still stoked about it because I only beat Act One. Act 1 is as far as I got before I put it down and purchased Diablo 4. And Act 1 of Diablo 4, I think, is garbage. I think most of Diablo 4 of what I've seen so far is garbage. But I'm still going to play it because I want the story. I purposely uh, avoided all of the uh, story of Diablo 4 so I can experience it on my own. And I just plan to go straight through the Diablo series, starting at one, going to two, th- uh, going to Immortal, even though Immortal is the bottom of the barrel, bottom shit tier Diablo game, um, and then three and four. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, I have a lot of filler games here, just causes filler. Uh, the pillars of of the earth i heard were a great game but it's more filler for me Uh, a lot of the anime games i have are filler games for me when i don't know what to play Uh, i haven't played most of the games in my steam library because i was just really depressed and every time i tried to play a game uh depression took over and i ended up just shutting them off So now that I have a reason and a purpose to play them, and so I don't feel like I wasted all this money for no reason, I'm going to play them for my YouTube channel. Um, I don't care what kind of ratings I get. I just really want to have these videos being pumped out. I I don't care if anyone even watches them. I just want to do them so I have some sort of fulfillment when it comes to why, like justification why I bought these games. Killer is Dead, Killer 7, I got the whole Killer series, except for one of them. I think I'm missing like the side game. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. I think it's No More Heroes. No, I have No More Heroes. It's further down the list because this is in alphabetical order. But Kingdom Come Deliverance I bought only because Asmongold highly recommended this game. And he's looking forward for the second one to come out, which is in a couple months, I think. And... um, I don't know anything about Kingdom Come Deliverance, but the few clips that I've seen Asmongold review over and and discuss looked really good, so I went and bought it when I saw it on Steam sale. Um, I bought, surprisingly, the entire Kingdom Hearts collection when it it released, and it released in in a sale. So I was like, I don't know when I'm going to see this again, so I just scooped them up. I, I didn't care. Kingdom of Amalur, Re-Reckoning. I was excited for that game when it first released way back in the day. But I was... Um, I, I didn't work. I was a teenager. And I was going to school, so I had to rely on my mom buying video games for me. And, I mean, she did an amazing job keeping me, you know, satisfied with games because she would buy all my at the time favorite games for me like the final fantasy games resident evil games uh pokemon games nintendo games like you know just nintendo stuff like mario and donkey kong and you know stuff like that so i mean my mom is really who drove me into the world of gaming my my older brother jeffrey introduced me to gaming during the nintendo days back in the early 90s um and, and he's a legend in my mind because he's the only person that I know that got as far as they did in real life in Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which is impossible, impossible game. I mean, you think 
anyone thinks Soulsborne games are hard, go play the original. Though those are the original Soulsborne. You you get hit once, a whole a whole part of your health meter is gone. Like you get hit a couple times and you're just dead. Just like Souls games, like they're impossibly hard. And my brother destroyed that game. Rest in peace, Jeffrey. I miss you and I love you so much. Um so yeah, Last of Us Part 1 is the uh, remake or remaster of the first Last of Us game that I owned on PS4 because I got the card with my PS4 for the digital download of Last of Us and then later I got the DLC for it and found out Ellie was a lesbian. Whatever, I guess. I mean, it, it fits her, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I want to play this game for the, for the video and then I want to I want to get the second part on my PS5 because I don't know when Steam is going to get the second part. I have no idea. I got all these Lego games because my buddy Ben, like Ben was my uh, my best friend at work and he lived a block away. So he was always over and we just gamed and watched anime all the time. I miss Ben a lot. He'll probably make fun of me when he sees this video. Um, live alive. I love Square Enix games. I love RPGs, JRPGs, any type of them. Um, Max Payne was cool on PS2. Never played the other ones. Uh, I played the first, played and beat the first uh, Mass Effect on 360, but never the other ones. I had a handful of Mega Man games, but I don't remember a lot of them because I was a child. Um, I had Mortal Kombat X on my PS4, but my PS4 broke, so I, I lost all the games. And then, for some reason, like, my old um, account was, like, gone, so I couldn't even get it back when I got my PS5. I had to make a new one and, and get some games there. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11, and all of a sudden, when I buy Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat 1 comes out. Ain't that the way it is? Uh, Nexomon Pokemon ripoff, but it's still fun. I'm almost done with this one actually. I have al almost all of the um, I have almost all the Nexomon up to the point where I'm at in the game. I think I'm like searching for like one or two of them, and then I can move on to the next portion of the game. Yeah, I love these arena brawl games like like um, Smash Brothers on Nintendo, Nickelodeon All Stars, and then the WB. Um, the WB one, um, I forgot what it was called. It's up there somewhere. I just don't want to go back up there. Um, no more heroes. Here they are. Uh, I played Obscure on PS2 and thought it was amazing. Like a really good Resident Evil, Silent Hill type alternative. So when I saw them on here, I just bought them. Like right there. And then I beat Octopath Traveler on Switch. All the way up to the final boss like the the final hidden boss the one you have to do mad work in order to to get to um i couldn't beat it some of my characters were under leveled and it caused me to not be able to beat the final secret boss so when i play octopath traveler this time i'm gonna do as much grinding as possible as much work as possible to get all of my characters to where I want them. So when I finally get to that final secret boss, I can kick his ass and redeem myself for not doing it on Switch. And then I'll go over to Octopath 2 because I, I still haven't played. I won't play Octopath 2 unless un until I beat that final secret boss in the first game. I won't do it. I just won't do it. I always wanted to play the Precipice of Darkness games. I think they're really funny looking games. Uh, Outer Worlds, I still need to play. Uh, Pac-Man, Repacked, I want to just tamper with. Um, I played P P3 on um, PS2. Never on PSP. Was it PSP or PS Vita? I can't remember. But anyway, I saw it on here, so I bought it so I could just add it to the collection. But then they went and remade it again. So I'm like, wow, man, like, 
I buy all these games so I can finally play them and they just remaster the same game I just purchased. What are you doing? Power Rangers is awesome. It's just really hard. I thought these games were hilarious. They remind me a lot of Monty Python art. Uh, Quantum Break... I said that the last time. Quantum Break is a part of the um, Alan Wake series along with that other game. So I got to play those. Uh, I love Resident Evil. I've always loved Resident Evil. Uh, yeah, Romancing Saga, I played a little bit on PS2, but then, like, my ex stole all my games. Well, almost all my games, so that, that I had to get them on here. Never played Secret of Mana or really any of the Mana games, so I, I can't wait to experience those long overdue. I uh, never played any of the Shenmue games because... Um, I think I had Shenmue 1 a while ago, but I s never played it. Because I did have a Dreamcast. That's what the sy That system is what Shenmue came on. That's how I learned about Soul Calibur, too. Soul Calibur is amazing. Uh, I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes fan, and I can't wait to dive into the Sherlock Holmes games. Um, this game is cursed when, it, when it's in my possession. I've owned three copies of the PS2 version that cost 50 bucks each every time I bought them. Used, because that game is just that damn good. Um, all, of the, all of the discs broke. One of them broke in the system. One of them broke in my hand, somehow. And the other one just got scratched to hell where it was just unplayable. So I... I stopped buying physical copies and bought the digital version on, uh, I think it was PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. The only reason my PS3 is not broken is because I hacked it. I, I modded it. Yes, my PS4 is broken. It broke a couple years, a few years ago. I think like four years ago, five years ago now. It broke. All my games on PS4 are gone, including this one. So now I'm just waiting for this to corrupt my my system somehow. I'm going to reach the three sisters, the three witch sisters, and then it's just going to blow up. I never played any of the Sonic games in, unless they were the originals. Like, the, uh, like this one, but the original Sonic. Like, I don't know. I played this on PS3. And then I bought it on here. Um, my dad bought me the first Battlefront uh, when it first came out. And it was awesome. Me and John used to call it Blastem. And I still refer to it as Blastem when I talk about the Battlefront games. I never played this one yet. M almost all these games on here I haven't even touched yet because I just refuse to open them. Unless I really want to just check it out real fast without recording and I just started recording uh, well t today so Jedi Fallen Order all these Star Wars games and just my mental illness when it comes to spending money is really showing right now uh, Stardew Valley top tier game never played it couldn't afford State of Decay back in the day my computer actually isn't Strong enough to play Strangers of Paradise because this is one of those games that I bought full price when it first came out and I was super excited for because there's a lot of intrigue when it comes to the first Final Fantasy game looking as amazing as Stranger of Paradise does. And this character here is Garland. Garland uh, is the main villain of the first Final Fantasy game. So the fact that you play as Garland is amazing. You get Garland's backstory, which is so cool. But I can't play it yet because I need to build a new PC. I'm actually surprised that this handheld... Oh, you probably don't even know what kind of PC I have. So let me just show it to you right now. Whoops. This right here is what I'm playing everything on. This is a 1X player. It's not even really the good one. This is the older model, and um, yeah, this is my PC. I don't, I don't know what to say about that. I want, I, I want to build an actual desktop so 
these games can actually run the way they're supposed to. And I don't have to um, worry about problems coming up when I record video or play games or play games and record at the same time. I still don't know how that's going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. And if it does work, the, well, then hooray for me. I can make videos again. And if I can't, then, well, I guess I got to wait a long time until I can afford PC parts because that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not giving up this stupid dream of mine. I, like I said, I might not ma become a millionaire, but I need to find a way to justify having these video games. And playing them is just not enough. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'll get to that when the time comes. Uh, these games have to do with King Arthur and, uh, Avalon and, um, I, I just really can't wait to dive into it. I played a little bit of Tainted Grail, but it's like a roguelike. So it's, I, roguelikes always confuse the hell out of me <coughs> along with Souls, Souls games. It's so like the whole concept of dying to progress in the game is just alien in my mind. Because like I spent most of my life not trying to die in games. And all of a sudden these games come along and they're like, oh yeah, dying is a part of the game. You have to die. I'm all, wait, what? Say that again? So you're telling me I won't get a game over screen if I die? I'll just go back to town? What? <laughs> yep. So you can see like... A lot of these games are actual games that I'm dying to play. I can't wait. I can't wait. I love Tony Hawk games. I love skateboarding games. Always have. Whoa, what's going on? All right, here we go. Um, yeah. See, I have a lot of Tales games. Uh, yep. To the Moon, I heard, is amazing. I don't know what to think about Tokyo Ghoul. I never watched it. Um, always wanted the Marvel vs. Capcom series hardly played them V Rising's controls are confusing I think I just gotta get used to them to, to get into the game but I, I think I have all of the DLC for it now because I hate buying games that aren't completed because I feel like they're just betas that are at least to uh, farm like stupid people's money uh, that's, that's how I view game companies nowadays uh, they release unfinished products so that they can harvest all the money as possible from you as they can get. Uh, Valkyrie Elysium, I got because Valkyrie Profile is a great game, I think. Uh, I always wanted to play the uh, Vampire the Masquerade games. Those games always intrigued me. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a smoker. I can't help it. Uh, Vampire is uh, top tier. Uh, I was recommended that game by many friends. Uh, I always wanted to play The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I always thought that game looked great. I already blue ribboned all, almost all of the Walking Dead games except for the last one. Um, the final series, I think it is. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I need four more achievements to blue ribbon that one, but I'll show you. Walking Dead, all achievements, blue ribboned it. I don't know why Big Picture Mode doesn't show the blue ribbons, but I blue ribbon this one, Playtime, 30 achievements out of 30. Uh, Michonne, blue ribbon that one, four hours it took me to only four hours. Very short game. 17 hours, got all the achievements for t season two. Um, yeah, love the Walking Dead games. We Happy Few, I've always wanted, never played it yet. Oh, this thing. Um, never played the Witcher games. I know they're good, just haven't gotten to them yet. Wilson looks great. Wanted to play that. Riker is who talked me into playing that, well, buying that game. Uh, my buddy Ben talked me into getting Wolf Among Us because I love Telltale games. I'm so sad that Telltale doesn't make games anymore. Um, I like wrestling games. They're fun. Um, 
I got like a dragon because of my buddy Ben. I always wanted to play the Yeez series because that was like the other set of RPGs from the Super Nintendo, PlayStation, I think PlayStation era that I never played. I am a Yu-Gi-Oh fanatic. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I played Yu-Gi-Oh ever since the the show came out, the card games came out. I traded Pokemon cards for my first set of Yu-Gi-Oh cards way back in the day. And I never regretted it. And as you see here, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. That will always have my older brother's stamp on it in my memory. Like he was a master of that game. And I was always just in utter fascination every time I seen him play that game. So this is my Steam. Uh, let's see, what else can I show? I don't want to show you my ROM library because I don't know what the consequences for that will be. Um, exit that. I have all the Diablos up here. All of the Diablos up here. One, two, well, one Hellfire, two Resurrected, Immortal, Diablo 3, and Diablo 4. I need to get the uh, expansion for Diablo 4 still but i'm broke right now so i have to wait and make sure my rent and bills get paid and i have food to eat so i don't die but yeah you can see down here mew glitch i play a lot of uh, pokemon off screen for pure entertainment so i try to cheat as much as i can because i don't play online so cheating's not a problem get rid of that Oh yeah, I made a, a shit ton of uh, videos before this one to just test my equipment and um, like I said, that last video that came out was bad so I had to redo it and this is the redo. I got Withering Waves only because of Tectone. I love Step Mania. I've always played DDR uh, in the groove. I miss my old uh, in the groove family, uh, Sarah, if you so happened to see this video shout out to you you were the only reason we were able to do it for so long and snood you want to know the story about snood just go back into my videos i still have that video but um thanks for watching this was a long boring showing of my mental illness in video games and uh, i can't wait to start playing them i plan to start with diablo I just got to say that I'm mostly doing this for myself. I do care about what people think about games. And I hope to get into really good discussions about a lot of these games. And I'll take your consideration into... Um, well, I'll take your opinion into consideration. But don't get your hopes up because I'm doing this for my entertainment. Playing the game is my entertainment. You watching me play the game is your entertainment. I'm not forcing you to watch it. You can stop watching anytime. You can go find someone better or someone more known. But I do plan to play as many of my games as possible and to grow my channel as large as I can. I won't disagree. I mean, I won't. I won't agree with a lot of things people say because that's impossible to do. You can't make everybody happy. And why would you care about making everybody happy when you yourself aren't happy? It doesn't make any sense. I'm happy with some aspects of my life, but not all of them. Not even close to all of them. I'm content. I'm trying to find ways to make it better and this is one of them so if you want to be an asshole and um, ruin my quality of life I probably won't pay attention to you if you want to add to my quality of life and have meaningful discussions about things that are in real life or in game then you're more than welcome thank you for watching and putting up with my shit. I'll see you soon. Josh. 
aka Vamp Scamp. Out.